the Joe Rogan experience. I have to at least bring this up a little bit to clarify a little bit what I did to John Dudley on the jujitsu match. You broke his neck. <laughs> You broke his fucking neck. Here's, what do you mean what you here's, did? Here's the only part that you're missing, missing a little bit, right? So I'm giving him, his wife, uh, like a like a jujitsu private. So you Actually, broke his neck Andy's in front of his there. wife. Andy's there. L- little Dud was there. So this it was is getting like, worse. You yeah. broke his neck in front of his wife and his son. So I'm just completely, you know, I'm chilling and like, hey, this is this, this is that, and I'm not even. I'm not even doing like this is that we in one weekend, Andy, John and me, we did we did archery, which I had never done before. Then we did jujitsu, which John had never done before. And then we went on the wind tunnel, which John had never done before, you know, because Andy's like a sky god parachuting, blah, blah, blah. And so we did those three things. It was kind of like a cool weekend. I mean, that's kind of an epic weekend, really. Let's be honest. So it's jujitsu time. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm going over, hey, this is the guard. This is the mount. I'm going over all the basic stuff. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just giving the basic overall kind of concepts. So I get done with that, you know, and I'm done. Like, I'm done. I, I'm just done. I'm like, okay, you know, great. It's a good introduction. And then Dudley is like, well, let's go a little bit. And I'm like, does the wrong language. I would have pulled him aside. Come here. So, so, Come here. so he's like, let's go a little bit. And even that, you know what? I'm totally cool with that. Of course, he wasn't. I, uh, he wasn't mean, and he would, wasn't thinking he was going to be. It wasn't. He's he he, he wants the experience. Yeah, he, I shouldn't have even said let's go a little bit. He was like, he was like, hey, can we can we try it? You know, something like that. Just being cool. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely, man, no problem. So, so I lay down on the ground, right? And I'm like, he says, well, what, what should I do? I go, you know, just attack me. <laughs> you know, I, so I laid out on my back. I'm like, just attack me. And guess what he did? What did he do? He freaking attacked me. He like came at me. And Dudley's a big, strong, athletic guy. He's six. What is he? Six five? At least. Yeah. So he comes. Fuck. He grabs. And I, I'm chilling. You know. I'm just like, okay, cool. He he comes at me. I think I he could like grab me. And so I kind of replace guard. And then I sweep him. And I'm ma- and so I'm mounted. And all this is just pretty chill and i put in a ezekiel. Uh, ezekiel choke right which i have a no little gi? yeah no gi ezekiel choke i have a little i have a little good technique for doing it but no big deal so i put in the ezekiel choke he's this is the thing that i really wish i should have explained more because we hadn't rolled i wasn't like hey when you start to feel like you gotta you gotta tap out right he knew to tap out, but I kind of figured everyone knows how to tap out. So I put the choke in on him, right? Well, he doesn't know what to do. So he he's grabbing me and he's pulling, he's squeezing me. So he's on the bottom. I'm mounted. I've got the Ezekiel choke in. And he, in order to defend himself in his own mind, he's squeezing me into him. Which the way I do my Ezekiel choke, it hurts. I mean, it, it compresses the choke even more. And so... Well, what are you doing specifically? Basically, I put my hand, I make a fist... And I put my fist in my sternum and then I, you know, grab the forearm here and then arch my shoulder. So there's the neck right here. It closes it. Right. So, it so closes. you're putting the fist into the, the... fist into right. It's a, it's mm-hmm. a trach. It's an air choke. It's right. gnarly. Okay. And so I'm just doing this and you can see that hole and you shrug. But as I'm doing this, he's panicking and pulling me into him. Oh, Jesus. And he only did it for a second. And then he, t- and then he taps out. And I was like, yeah, you know, and I wasn't. I was just like, oh, you know, boom, and then he taps. And then the rest of the story is, I guess I didn't know a lot about the rest of the story. I didn't know any of the rest of the so story. Because he didn't want to see he didn't want to feel like a baby. Yeah, it fractured like his hyoid bone, and then it built calcium up around it. So he calls up Andy one day, and he goes, dude, I think I got throat cancer. Because there's something growing in my throat. <laughs> and he goes, the doctor gets an x-ray and he's like, hey, did you do something to your neck? Because there's a there's a hairline fracture that's not now calcium deposit around it. And he's like, oh, I know what happened. So I guess in my defense. <laughs> Why didn't you just get him in like a head and arm dude, choke or something? Dude, it, it, it wasn't like a big deal. It wasn't, cr- <laughs> it wasn't crazy. 
It wasn't crazy. It was just normal. It'd be like if if you grab somebody that showed up here is like, hey, you know, hey, can you roll with me? You'd be like, oh, cool. And you'd put them in a kind of whatever presented itself. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'd arm lock them. Maybe you'd do a Camaro. The problem is when you get used to doing certain types of chokes and then you're doing it to someone who doesn't, especially that where you got a fist yeah. in the neck. And I, this is, I guess this is the only thing. Uh, he, he, make no mistake about it. Even though I was just chilling. He was not. He was going level seven berserker mode on me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's such a good athlete, you know? The other thing about people that have never done jujitsu when they're doing it with someone who's a black belt is they probably feel like they can just kind of go crazy and you'll just absorb it and deal with it. And so they just try it. Let's see what happens when I go crazy. So now he holds this over my head. Mm, you know, should. He broke his neck in yeah, front of his wife. I, oh, I know. I know. One day I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> we're up in Montana. And I said, hey, man. He's like, he sits like, he was at my house. He's like, oh, thanks for having us over. I go, bro, you, you, you know, you taught me how to do this. You brought me up here. You take me hunting. Like you're doing all this awesome stuff, man. I, I, you know, you're the man, dude. I really appreciate it. He goes, yeah. And you know what you did for me? I'm like, what? And he goes, broke my neck. <laughs> it's awful, bro. Ugh. It's all good now though, right? Oh yeah. So not bothering oh, him yeah. anymore? Uh, oh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> 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 I thought you meant it's all good between us. It's no, all no, good no, between no. us. I mean, he just sent me a new neck. bow. We're freaking fired I think every time up. he swallows, he thinks about you. No, he coughs. Oh, no. He coughs. Hopefully, I mean, I haven't talked to him about it. I don't like to bring it up a lot. but So there's uh, something in there that's fucking with his throat. Something in there is making him cough. So they'd have to probably get in there and scrape it. So while we're hunting, he would be like... <laughs> And then he'd look at me. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm just thinking, oh, I'm such a such a horrible oh, person. Oh no! 